Emmanuel Kwasi-Anning is the director of the Faculty of Academic Affairs and Research at the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center in Accra, and he joins us now live. Welcome to the program, sir. Now, Mali here took a big step to expel the French ambassador, but now they're calling him back if France justifies its comments. Do you think that France will provide them with the explanation they've asked for? No, I don't think France will provide that explanation. But I think France, even if it doesn't provide that explanation, will need to recognize that there is a new agency within Bamako that will not continue to accept the disparaging and the disrespectful remarks from France. France's disrespectful remarks are not so much about deepening democracy in Mali and respecting the rights of Malian citizens. It's about its concern that a resurgent Russia has sent in the Wagner Group that is providing a new sort of security assistance. Right. Therein lies the difference between the two. I'm going to touch on that in a bit. Um, but first, I want to ask you if this is going to lead to France completely retracting its personnel from Mali, and how would that change things on the ground for Mali if that does indeed happen? Well, France's role in Mali has been more disastrous than helpful. If you remember, when President Hollande was there and sent in the original French troops, the narrative from Paris was that they had driven the terrorists out of northern Mali. The result of that action was that the terrorists were, were spread all over the Sahelian states. So that was a very dangerous thing. France's military presence in Mali has not improved human rights. It hasn't improved the performance of the Malian military. It has actually led to an inability for them to deliver the public security that they are talking about. Mm -hmm. So for me, on balance, uh, France is not a critical player that it perceives itself to be. Right, and it is becoming uh, less and less popular among West African nations. Um, why do you think France uh, is becoming less popular in that region? Well, as I said earlier on, there's a new, there's a new African agency. There's a, there's a better understanding of the exploitative role of France, its disrespect, its abusive behavior, its flouting of you know, national and, and sovereignty rights. And people are just beginning to say, look, give us a chance to think through things ourselves. And then when we are ready, we will sit down with you at the table and redraw the terms of the old relationship. And France is not willing and prepared to accept that these African nations have grown, that they have a voice, that they have an idea, that there's an identity beginning to shine uh, through. Until France wants to come back to the table and have a conversation mm -hmm. that respects these African countries and uses a language that is conciliatory and respectful, we will see these tensions beginning to mount, and we will see um, a limitation and a reduction of right. French influence in West Africa. I want to go back to your point uh, that you made on Russia, and we're seeing a uh, rise in Russia's military presence in Mali. Would Mali turn to the Russians to combat extremism in the region? Oh, definitely. I mean, we are seeing an expansion of Russian influence from Central African Republic to aspects of Chad, Southern Libya, to Mali, and now to Burkina Faso. It is crucial that we recognize, and France recognize, particularly the foreign minister, that the geopolitics have changed, that Russia is there, that the Chinese are there. And I think Turkey is increasingly playing a, a very important role on the African continent. The old neo-colonial relationships and partnerships cannot and will not be allowed to continue. The earlier France understands that the geopolitics have changed and the dynamics have changed and power is being realigned in different ways, then it will have a role to play. By using the abusive language that a foreign minister has used, that a, that a defense minister has used, it's not going to be acceptable. No regime worth its salt will accept such language. 
All right, Emmanuel Kwasi Anning, thank you so much for joining us here on TRT World and sharing that with us.